So Leng, do you think uh, at the age of 23 years old, uh, a person can buy a property? What do you think? Can or? Of course can. Uh... I can. They are still maybe studying, you know, no income, uh... no CPF, you know, then how to buy? Of course, can buy if you know how. How, how, how? how. Then <laughs> how? share with us. Uh. <laughs> To be true, uh, we have clients uh, who actually you know, has uh, brought property at the age of 23. It may even be younger. Yeah, how do they do so? They got rich, rich parents. Uh. <laughs> yeah, la, we call it what? The, the PAP. Uh. Yeah, we call it the PAP. What does PAP stand for? Uh, parent Assisted Program. Yeah, so Parent Assisted Program means what? That means parents come out money lah. <laughs> yeah, la, true lah. But in, in true life, right, a lot of parents actually wanted to uh, leave know, a legacy. Leave a legacy for the children. Mm -hmm. But instead of leaving a legacy for the children, uh, why don't they, you know, they, in, they, they may have the intention to actually help their children to grow their wealth through property. Correct, then? Yeah. So, you know, because when you want to leave a legacy for your children, right, when you want to leave a leg legacy, means what? Means I must die first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you must die first before you can leave a legacy, right? Uh -huh. Otherwise, what is a legacy, right? True. So, instead of dying and then you leave your property for your children or maybe whatever asset that for your children, you have seen in the newspaper that there are a lot of children actually, you know, fight over, over. the asset Correct. when the parents die. So, why don't the parents actually help their children to create wealth and build their wealth when they are still alive? How do they do that? Ask me. Ask you? Yeah, because I also did the same thing. <laughs> She did the same thing for her own daughters. Yeah, yeah, I did the same thing for my own children also. Because, you know, I don't want them to fight over this. I mean, we don't know what will happen in, after we die. So, we prefer that we help them to create wealth step by step in a very safe and systematic way. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, let them have a, how do you call it, uh, uh, good, good start. Lah. Uh, so, from there, then they can actually know about, you know, uh, uh, what call it, uh, financial literacy, right? They call it. Correct. Uh, so, like that. Lah. This is how we help our clients to do create wealth through property uh, when they were young. Yeah. So if you want to know more, you know who to call. Huh? Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, we have examples, lah. You know, that we have a few. Example. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, lah. You don't know me? Yeah, lah. The twenty-three years old girl, uh, who's still father, studying. Uh, still studying. Whose father, uh, who initially wanted to pay cash. Yep. Yeah, but eventually. Uh, we help them to get a loan. Loan, correct. Yeah. How the father got money, ah? Through on block lah. Yeah, the father, you know, actually has about you know two over million uh, through on block. So that's why you know they actually wanted to diversify their funds so that they can actually have more money for retirement. Mm. Actually, uh, you know, a lot of people right thought that you know um, buying property or this sort of thing is actually buying more and more property is like being greedy. Actually, is it true? Not true lah. It's to prepare well for our retirement. Yeah. I should say. Because uh, a lot of people think that, hey, I buy property, wow, how late, you know, buy property, you know, you uh, want to show off. Actually, no, you know, in Singapore context, right, if you really want to buy property, right, uh, to, to upgrade to a property, it's actually to prepare better for our retirement. Yes. Uh, not to show off. You know, otherwise, you know, uh, it's quite difficult to survive lah in the future. You agree? I agree. Yeah. So, the what happened to the that example? Example, oh, hmm. eventually she bought a property at a very famous area. The parents, what he do? You know, he actually wanted to pay full cash, but ultimately, we helped them to get a loan of hmm. about 70%. 70 or 75? 70%, hmm. yeah. So 70%, you know, hmm. rather than paying cash. Yeah, rather than paying full cash for the property, we managed to get a loan for the daughter who is still studying, not working, and then no income to buy a property at a very good price, you know, so that uh, three years later, if the parents intend to sell the property, he can do so. Cash out and then help to buy some more. Yes. Yeah. In fact, the other daughter who turns 23 this year, or last year. Also bought another property. property yeah. Also uh, did the same thing. Yeah, also say, do the same thing, PAP, and then uh, they bought another property for investment. So basically, this is how we help our client to start their property journey at a very, very young age. Mm. Right? So 23 years old can buy property. Ah, 21 can buy already. Lah. <laughs> if you're below 21, actually your parents must have more, 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 more money so that they can buy property in trust mm. under your name. So that one, um, I mean, we can explore, but that one will have more money. Yeah, you need to have, have to more discuss money. discuss with us. Each case is different. Yes. Correct or not? Yes. So uh, from there, we will advise you what to do. Yes. All right. <laughs>